One of the amazing things we got with Create Studio 3 was the 360 rotation. And I am so impatient and I have a hard time keeping them on a even level. And I always end up twisting them and, and making them crooked and I don't do such a great job. So I have two tricks that I've kind of come down to and I thought I would share them. You may have the right way to do this. And if you have thoughts or ideas, please share them in the comment section because I'd love to learn how to do this better. But the first one that I did was using our guidelines which has its challenges with the characters. And the other one was I used a second character and used that to help with the end position. So let me show you what I did with Lenka first. So I have her facing, and then I wanted her to turn and say hi to somebody who walked into the room. So here I just did a character view rotation so I could use the rotation. So here she's facing and then I use the rotation view to turn her. But what happens is it's hard to find a spot on the characters that's in the same place through action. So here's where we find our guidelines. And this might be where I had it. I'm not 100% sure if it brought it back. But I tried her boots, but they were really hard because they're not a right angle. The shirt looked really even on this side, but it didn't necessarily match on the other side. And it was really hard. So what I did is first, I brought my keyframes to when she's idle. I did that because when we watch her idle, she moves a little bit, but not too much. I want her to turn here when she's waving, but I'm going to set my keyframes up here. So what I did is I put my first keyframe, I added an animation of character view, and I guess I left it on smooth. Then I went to my end, keyframe and I moved it as close as I could get to my first one and I did that so that there was less movement I might catch it when she hadn't moved too much and what I did is I put my guideline on the watch it seemed to be the only thing I could find that had some semblance of where it would be on the other side so I just made a guideline and you can just click here to add a horizontal. It added one up here. Or you can make a vertical. And I tried that as well, but they're not completely centered either. So that was too hard. I'm just going to delete those. So I select it and I click delete. So I put it on her watch band. And then when I went to the end keyframe, had it at the same point of the watch band. And it's not perfect, but it did the trick. So then I don't want her turning now and that quick. I want her turning when she waves. So I can just drag my end keyframe and drag my beginning keyframe and then time how I want her to turn. And now she's staying at a pretty level. She may have gone off key a little bit, but worked pretty good for that one. So guidelines is one way. The other way I did it was even more simple, but um, I couldn't do it for Lenka because I already had her rotated facing this, um, the board. So this wouldn't have worked for me. But I did Danny dancing and spinning. And what I did for that is I simply made my dancing Danny. Then I duplicated it. So let me do that right here. So then all I did was I duplicated it. I had duplicated it before the animation because I don't want the other one to animate. 
And then I just selected the dancing and I lowered the opacity a little. I guess you don't really have to, but it helped me just to easily differentiate which character was which. Now what I was able to do, so let's delete those. Now what I was able to do is when I decided to make him spin, I added an animation, a character view, went to my end animation, I'm going to go in closer, and I don't need that guideline. I'm going to, whoop. All right. Then I went and did my rotate. And I, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm rotating the wrong one. I need to make sure I'm rot rotating the front, Danny. Then I can rotate him. I can even go fast and be a little sloppy like I usually am and just make sure that he ends up in the same place. And I found when I did it, his sneakers were the part that really told me if I was correct or not. So let's see. And it looks like he's landing in the right spot. So I am now going to hide the back, the Danny in the back, and then see how that looks. He kind of went slow though. Kind of dragged his feet a little bit. I had it timed better before. I timed it with the, I think I did it a little bit after when his, arm started to go. But you can time that yourself. But that was my second trick to try to do it if they were in the same place they started and they ended. Because again, when I did this, you can see Danny, the first time I did it, I didn't do too bad, but it seems, I always do that, I forget to touch rotate. I moved him up just a teeny bit, I think it was. So when he ended, the idol wasn't in the right spot. His face was off. Um, but there's two tricks if you think that will help you. And again, give me some ideas in the comment section.